What's up, YouTube? Danny Bianni's guy. I just got back from the Goodwill Hudson, New Hampshire. I spent $61, and that was after the discount, and I was after the coupon. Um, they have a new thing now. I guess you can use you can use your coupon and get the discount at the same time. So, yeah, that was great. So I saved another five bucks. So I spent $61, guys. Let's check it out. First up, I found another one of these um, vintage uh, Wilton uh, cake pans. This is the Jim Henson uh, Big Bird and Cookie Monster cake pan. Um, this was less than two dollars. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw this on, uh, throw this up on eBay. I haven't done any comps on it yet, but um, hopefully it's worth you know over twenty bucks. Found another cake pan. This is another vintage Wilton. Um, it's hard to read, but um, this has ghosts all over it. So um, I'll have to look this one up. It's got like Casper on it. But uh, yeah, so a lot of people like Halloween. A lot of people like ghosts. And this is vintage. Um, 1991, I think. So uh, we'll see what I can get for that, guys. Took a little gamble on this. This is less than a dollar, guys. This is like a a picture book, scrapbook, and it's got vintage like sports on it. This is either from the 80s or the 70s. I'm thinking 70s. Um, I don't know these athletes, but I'm gonna take some close-up pictures of of the pictures on this book and um, see what I can do with it. I'll probably start this out around 20 bucks. Um, it was less than a buck and. Um, it's not too too heavy, so hopefully it's about 14 ounces to ship. I'm guessing. I thought that was unique. It was it was there last week, and I walked by it. But um, it was less than a buck, and this is definitely some old old pictures on here. So I think somebody will pay money for this, guys. All right. So I got some clothing, and I got some coffee cups. First up. Um, a little gamble on this guys this is a really nice uh, Brooks Brooks Brothers Madison men's button-down shirt long sleeve and it's got some really nice fall colors guys I think this will sell um, I think I'll get about at least 21 23 bucks for that for a little bit less than 25 hopefully I'll take 21 22 23 we'll see what happens with it um, Next up is this uh, vintage um, t-shirt, guys. This is by Jerseys, and it says Champion International Collegiate Rowing Series 1997 Eastern Sprints. So this is like a boating um, rowing championship back in 1997. Uh, it's got some stains on it, so I'm going to have to pre-treat it, but... Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people that like rowing, and um, I think this will sell, guys. Vintage, vintage 1997. I'm going to clean it up really well. Get the stains out. Throw it on eBay. Hopefully get about 25 bucks for that, guys. Next on deck is this um, Rutgers University Alumni Association, guys. Size extra large t-shirt. And... Um, yeah, I thought this was uh, pretty unique, and it's a very popular uh, school, so I think this will sell, guys. Hopefully get around 20 bucks for that at least. This right here is pretty cool, guys. This is a vintage, um, actually I don't think it's vintage, but it, it's, it's a Nike Golf Dry Fit men's polo shirt, and it says the original Muck Boot Company, embroidered logo on the front. Um, I think this shirt has got a little bit of pilling on the sleeve. Yeah, there's a little spot right here, right near the swish. I'm going to have to, a um, couple little spots. I'm going to have to try to fix that little pilling going on right there, guys. But um, I think this will still definitely sell pretty good. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with the front of it. And um, that's a popular boot company. So, uh, yeah, it's Nike Dry Fit, and it's a boot company. And it's a good size, I think. Um, size 2XL, so it's a great size, guys. So I think this will sell. Hopefully get about 25 bucks for that. 
Next up is a cycling jersey. Whenever I see cycling jerseys, I pretty much jump on them. Um, I'm not sure what brand this is. Because on the inside it just says XL 100% polyester. But it's got Scott. It's got um, Club Alp, Alpine or something like that. I think this might be in French. I am funds. So I'm going to throw this on uh, eBay, guys. It's got Scott... Every, uh, Scott brand on it so um, yeah I'm gonna google all these names and um, see what I can come up with but uh, this was less than five bucks guys hopefully I get about 25 bucks for it it's got some stains on it so um, yeah I'm glad I noticed that so I'm gonna put it in the stain pile Next up is this, uh, I've been looking for this brand, guys, for the past three years, and I finally found, um, you know, I wanted to find one of their polo shirts, but I found one of their t-shirts. This is called Southern Tide, uh, the Skip Jack t-shirt. Um, I'll have to look this up, but um, hopefully I get about 21, 22 bucks for this. This is a 2XL, it's in really good shape, so I picked that up. This I paid up for, guys. It was eight dollars before the discount, but it's a uh, not the good, not a good size, but it's Nike Dry Fit, size small, and it's got the broken backboard on it, guys. The rim record broken backboard. So um, I did a quick search. I didn't see anything quite like this, but um, yeah, guys, I'm hoping to get at least twenty three bucks for this. Um, I spent probably. Uh, six dollars and change after the discount but um yeah i should be able to give over 20 bucks to that guys next up um yeah guys this was a really good gem right here um i just found this this out it's called nike what is it called aero aero swift okay i think this is a running running uh Action wear t-shirt guys and there's some crazy comps on this name. So the Nike Aero Swift It's kind of hard to read but look for that guys look up comps for this So crazy comps for this uh, style of Nike So um, yeah, I'm hoping to get over 30 bucks for this guys. I gotta do some more comps, but I should be able to squeeze at least 30 bucks out of this thing, maybe 30, uh, 33 bucks. I paid up for it. I paid eight dollars before the discount, so I think that was a good find, guys. Yeah, I found another Nike shirt. Uh, this is Nike Jordan Air uh, Dry Fit, and I think it says, what "Was it Ozone or something like that on the front?" Gonna have to look this one up, guys. It's not the best size, but it's got a cool graphic. It says number three on the sleeves. So I'm gonna have to look this up, guys. I don't really know too much. It's a size small. I'm trying to read this. Yeah, I don't know what that says. I'm not sure what that says, guys. If you guys know what what that says, let me know. But um, it's a Nike Dry Fit size small Air Jordan. So I picked it up, guys. Hopefully I get over 20 bucks for that. This here is a brand new, sh uh, brand new in tags. Uh, Under Armour Real Men Wear Pink Breast Cancer Awareness T-shirt. New in tags. Um, hopefully I get about 23, 24 bucks for this, guys. Thought that was a pretty good find. Got some hard goods. Um, this is a vintage rollerblade brake pad kit. Uh, this was less than a dollar, guys. And these are selling for about 15 bucks, I think. 15 to 20. Uh, this should be pretty light to ship. Definitely first class. I picked this up, guys. I think I'm going to keep this myself. This is like a uh, cutting block. It's like a granite cutting block with a piece of plastic handles on it. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I'm going to put this in my kitchen, on my kitchen counter. 
And if I have to cut something up, we're going to use this, guys. Not too shabby. It was less than three bucks. Got a couple real good things down here, but I'm going to show you guys those last. I got some uh, drinking cups and I got some coffee mugs. This right here, guys, it was less than a dollar. Um, I'm not going to get much for it, but this is a Brita Hydration Station Nalogene made in the USA uh, water bottle cup. So, um, yeah, I'm going to probably try to get about 12 bucks for this, guys. But um, if I get make you know a quick nine ten dollars on it, I'll be pretty happy after shipping. Probably about three bucks to ship that. So I didn't see anything quite like it, so I picked it up. And here's the coffee mug. This is the uh, Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon. Coffee mug, coffee cup. Um, I gotta do some comps on this. But hopefully I can get about 20 bucks for this, guys. Not too bad. This here is a um, Starbucks Las Vegas coffee mug coffee cup. Some of these Las Vegas cups are worth big bucks, but this one's not. Um, I'll be lucky to get about, I think, 17, 18 bucks out of this. But... Um, I paid less than a dollar for it. It's going to cost $7.33 to ship it. So if I can make close to 10 bucks on it, I'll, I'll pick it up. I think that'll sell eventually. Hopefully. A couple more cups here, guys. I thought this was uh, unique. I looked up U.S. Army um, Panama coffee mug coffee cups. I didn't see any. Um, so hopefully somebody, if somebody was stationed there, they're going to want to pick this up. Or if they're there right, right now. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty nice. It's got a nice gold trim on it. It was less than a buck. So I'll probably put this on auction for about $19.99. See what happens. The last mug I found. This is Heavy Duty Soup uh, Coffee Mug Coffee Cup. And this is a local school down the street from where I live, guys. This is Bishop Gurdon High School in Asher, New Hampshire. And uh, this is a Catholic school. It's um, co-ed now. Back in the days, it was just guys, but now it's guys and girls. But this is really solid. It's in really good shape. Hopefully, somebody that went to school there is going to want to pick this up. Um, I can probably get. I haven't looked for it on eBay yet, but there's probably. I bet you there's not so many listings with this, uh, with this private high school. So. It was in really good shape. If it was just a regular cup, I probably would have picked it up, but. This thing's solid. This thing's uh, for soup. Um, really good shape, guys. I think somebody will buy that. So hopefully I get about 20 foot bucks for that. Uh, the last two things I found. I can't believe I found this stuff, guys. Um, this is new old stock. Boston Red Sox. 1998 American League, uh, American League wild card snapback hat, guys. Look at this thing. New with tags. Um... This is by MLB Genuine Merchandise by Twins, Twins MLB. So I'm going to have to look this up, guys. I have no idea what this is going to go for. Um, it's new with tags from 1998. Um, so we'll see, guys. This is really, really, I, I couldn't believe I found this. It was just sitting right there. Less than $2, guys. So I'm assuming I could, I could probably pull at least 30 bucks out of this thing. If not a lot more because it's new with tags. So um, this is definitely going to be probably be an auction item. And uh, we'll see what happens guys. But if I put it on auction I'm going to start from you know. I'm going to start at a point where I, I would like to sell it at. So I'm going to do some research. I'm probably going to you know. If I don't think, see anything out there like this. I'll probably start it at $39.99 auction and see where it goes. But um, that was a great little find right there guys. And uh, last up. Not the best size, guys, but um, I found some vintage shoes, guys. These are women's LA gear running shoes, size 4. Um, this is a vintage 90s brand, guys. Um, could be late 80s also. Uh, they don't make these anymore. These are in great shape. 
and I quickly looked up some comps on LA gear and there's some crazy comps going on so it's definitely not the best size it's only a size 4 but these are like in fantastic shape even the insides um, these are less than four dollars guys but um I don't know man we're gonna see I'm gonna do some comps um, hopefully I can get at least 40 out of these things if not a lot more um, but I'm gonna do some research uh, research and hopefully these uh, sell pretty quick guys so yeah for $60, around $61, whatever I spent today. How much did I spend? Yeah, 61 bucks, guys. I thought I did really good, so. That'll keep me busy for a little while, guys, because I caught up with my death pile. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk soon, guys. Peace.